Now, Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals with your first alert storm team forecast. Early July and a hurricane, a commotion in the ocean 700 miles away from entering the Caribbean. That is Hurricane Beryl. And it's really not hard to see from this perspective, but it's actually a very small storm. Category 1, winds of 80 miles an hour. The tropical storm force winds extend out 70 miles in diameter. In other words, that's about the distance from extreme northern Baldwin County to the beaches in Baldwin County. It's a very compact system. The hurricane force winds... 20 miles. That's like from downtown Mobile to the Mississippi state line. Nonetheless, it is approaching the Caribbean and it will likely strengthen a little bit late tonight into tomorrow. It's maintaining as a category one hurricane moving westward now at 14 miles an hour. Hurricane watches are up for St. Lucia, St. Martin, Guadalupe. Those locations could see wind impact as we end the weekend of around 80 miles an hour. Certainly rain as this steady moving system heads into the Caribbean to end the weekend. Once it gets into the Caribbean, though, wind shear should begin to diminish the overall wind speed, putting it back to tropical storm status by late Monday when it gets close to Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and then Tuesday weakening it to a weak tropical storm as it approaches Cuba and Jamaica. Beyond that, it's likely to fade apart as a tropical storm, but that doesn't mean it will just disappear. Just like it started as a tropical wave, it'll continue as a tropical wave beyond Tuesday. Computer models split on whether it would go to the Yucatan or get caught up in a more northwesterly flow and head out in the western Atlantic. But nothing I see right now puts it in the Gulf as something we should be concerned about. Look at this slightly different perspective. It's actually kind of hard to pick out where the hurricane is because it is so small. This was from the middle of the day right there in that highlighted area. But as you look at that little small hurricane, look at what is northeast of it, a lot of brown. It turns out that's dust from the Sahara Desert. And you know that tropical waves actually originate over Africa and move into the Atlantic. Well, so does dust. And that dust, if it can get into the storm and wrap around, it may help to, help to suppress it. That's not a forecast. It's just what can happen from time to time. So what about the other system? Tropical depression number three, halfway between South Carolina and Bermuda, 30 mile an hour winds. It's a minimal system. However, it's in a spot where for the next couple of days, it's just going to meander. It's not moving very much. Once we're past the weekend, it'll likely get caught up in steering currents that should keep it safely out to sea between Bermuda and the East Coast, but it will also strengthen. So this weekend, by tomorrow, it'll likely become a tropical storm. By Tuesday and Wednesday, it could become the next hurricane. And the next name on the list, alphabetically, that would be Chris. And you do recall, these are the same names you heard six years ago. The names are recycled every six years unless a storm is devastating, and then that name is retired.